All right, I have a question for you guys. How should we respect other cultures? So I'm actually going to use a different color. I think one of the important words here is how. So we've talked during this about how things have changed, that communities look different now than they did a long time ago, that all of our families look different than each other. But how do we respect people from those other cultures? And you guys, this is so important for you to think about while we talk about this because you are growing up in an area and a time with so many different kinds of people. So what are ways that we can show our respect to those other cultures? Well, asking questions is a great way. We can ask about holidays, games, and other traditions from their culture. We can ask how they celebrate, what they enjoy about it. That would be a great, great way. Another way is to try the food from other cultures. My best friend in kindergarten and first grade was Japanese. And I went to play at their house after school a lot. And I learned how to use chopsticks. And her mom would make us sushi for snack after school. I had never seen sushi until then. And I learned how to eat it, what it was made out of, and how to use chopsticks. I've always really enjoyed Japanese culture because my friend Emmy was Japanese. And I learned so much from her family and being around them. So you should try food. You can ask about their traditions. Um, and here's what's important, you guys. I think I'm going to write it in a different color. When you ask and you try, there are two key words here. The first one is to listen. I mean, cool if you ask them something. But if you ask and you don't really listen to what they're saying and remember it, ask further questions, check in with them, you're not really learning, right? So you want to listen and really think about it. And I just said it. We want to learn. We want to learn from them. Like, tell me why that's important to you. Tell me why you love that. Tell me what is delicious to you. What's your favorite snack? What's your favorite holiday meal? Um, so listen and then and learn. So asking is only really going to help you get to a point of showing respect if you do both of these things too in return. Our culture, our traditions. All families are not the same. Families across the world come from different places. They have different ways of life. They're each unique. The diversity of families across the world is special and should be celebrated. Families across the world have different cultures. Your culture is the behavior, beliefs, and customs that people who are similar to you share. A tradition is something that a family does at a certain time. Your family traditions are often related to your family's culture. 
In the American culture, people celebrate birthdays by singing a song and lighting candles on a cake or dessert. In the Japanese culture, your shoes are always removed before entering a house. Families have different cultural traditions, things they do that relate to their culture. Oftentimes, these are ideas and customs that have been passed down through many generations. They may have been started long ago, perhaps hundreds of years ago. Not every family eats the same foods for dinner. What you eat may depend on your family's cultural traditions. Mateo's family prepares traditional Hispanic foods for dinner. They eat tortillas, mole with rice and beans, and flautas. Haran's family prepares traditional foods from his Indian culture, like papu, lentils, and pulusu, stew. Not every family celebrates the same holidays. What holiday you celebrate may depend on your family's religion and cultural traditions. Kip's family is Jewish. They celebrate the eight days of Hanukkah every November or December by lighting a menorah. They eat special foods like potato latkes, play dreidel games, and sing songs. Not every family wears the same clothes. The clothes that you wear each day may depend on where you live or your cultural traditions. American children like Tiana often wear t-shirts, jeans, and sneakers. Muslim girls like Mahik may wear a traditional head covering called a hijab. Indian girls like Samina may wear a sari, which is a traditional draped wrap. Jewish boys like Peter may wear a traditional round cloth cap called a kippah. Not every person styles her hair the same way. The way you style your hair may depend on your family's cultural traditions. African American girls may wear their hair in coiled curls, in braids fastened with colored beads, or in a natural afro. In the Punjabi culture, men wrap their hair in a turban called a dastar, while boys wear a patka. The type of music that you listen to may depend on your family's cultural traditions. In Canada, the native Inuit people sing the katajak, or Inuit throat song, which is a cultural tradition that's been passed down for hundreds of years. In some traditional African Caribbean cultures, the steel pan drum rhythms of calypso music are a strong reminder of how their ancestors fought for freedom from slavery. Not every family speaks the same language. The language that you or your family members speak may depend on your cultural heritage. Juan's family is from Puerto Rico. They speak Spanish. Umar's family come, came from America, from Syria. They speak Arabic at home and are learning to speak English. Each family's culture is important. Our cultural traditions are what help to make us who we are. The many different cultures from around the world contribute to the growth and development of our country's communities. No matter our difference in culture, traditions, how we dress, or the language we speak, all families deserve respect. Find your unit two families long ago in today workbook and flip all the way back to lesson nine. Lesson nine, families and cultural traditions. So on this, I want you all to think about a way that you will respect other cultures. Will you respect other cultures by learning about their traditions? Will you respect other cultures by trying their food? Will you respect other cultures by hearing about traditional clothing or traditional music? Will you respect other cultures by learning their history? What do you think 
is the best way for other people to learn about you and your family culture. Maybe that would be a good way to get to know somebody else's. So go ahead, spend a little time, and write a sentence here. I will respect other cultures by, and then you can draw a picture of what that might look like to you. You can press pause until you're done with that because I'm gonna read the quick check questions to you. So press pause so you can finish this and then press play once you are done. Okay. Question number one. We should respect families and cultures that are different than ours. Pick true or false. Number two, your culture is your behavior, beliefs, and customs. Pick true or false. All families celebrate the same holidays. Pick true or false. Okay. We should respect families and cultures that are different than ours. What do you guys say? Is it true or false? Shout your answer. True, we should respect others. Number two, your culture is your behavior, beliefs, and customs. That's true too. All families celebrate the same holidays. I don't think that's true even in our classroom. All right, good job you guys.